Morning, Gary. What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey, how you doing? You good? You have food? Oh, you still got some food. That's good. You didn't eat it all, Gary. I'm proud. You're learning. You're learning. What's going on, everybody? It is 426 AM, early AF, okay? And it is my final day in Texas of my two-week Texas journey. Comes to an end today, folks, but I'll be back in probably like three or four days. But I got to go home. Uh, we got my mother's birthday. You can't miss that. And we have Easter. So two very important events happening this weekend. I've got to be home for them. I'm actually driving back home, and then I will probably be flying back down here. Today's Friday. I'll probably fly back down here maybe Tuesday or Wednesday because the tur, the tur, the ET tur with Rob and Justin. And hopefully John gets back in town by then. Peric, Peric's just lost forever. I don't think he'll ever come back to the States. But that's what's going on right now. I'm going to be taking my mystery tackle boxes out to a pond I've never been to. It's like a pond that's two hours northeast, but for you guys it'd probably be like northeast. And uh, and I live north east, so it's good. It's like it's like an hour out of the way, so it's not bad. So like for me to go from like here to the pond to my house is like 11 hours, um, and it's two hours to the pond. So right now that's why I got up so early. It's 4:20. It's 4:27 a.m. and um, that's why I got up, so I'm thinking, hopefully I can be fishing by about 7 o'clock, and uh, I can only fish until noon, because I have to be back home uh, for, for my mom's birthday. So, I gotta, be back, I gotta be back home for that, so I got a little bit of a little bit of a challenge window. I know you guys always like the challenge videos. I'm taking my mystery tackle box out there, gonna do a quick unboxing for you guys once I get out there on the lake, and then uh, tie some baits on and see what I can make happen, but that's what's going on. Gary, see you later, buddy. Be good. Don't die on me. All right. See you, dude. And I made it. Made it to the lake. We got a nice little John boat. That's what we're going to be working with right now. And I've got the MTB Pro. Now I'm going to unbox this guy here. Actually, pretty much pretty much right now. All right. Let's unbox this thing. This is These are the lures I'm going to be fishing with today for my little uh, time crunch challenge. I'm actually not even in Texas. I'm in Oklahoma right now. This is a pond. It's got a John boat on it. Never been here before. I don't know anybody who's actually been here before. I'm going to try it. We're going to try it out. But here's what we got. First bait, we've got a uh, Hype, Hypotes ST Weston Fishing swim bait. Big old swim bait. I don't know if this is going to come into play today. It looks like there might be a little too much vegetation. Uh, but this is a nice... Nice big shad imitation, something like that. Uh, this would catch the biggest bass in the lake for sure. But I don't know how much I'm going to be throwing this guy today. Like I said, there's a lot of grass here, a lot of vegetation. I don't know if this is going to work. But that is bait number one. I'm going to do this kind of quick because I know you guys just want to see me go catch fish. Bait number two, we got the uh, the smart baits here. I'll take this guy out of the package here. Little creature bait action. These are the Remember, these are the ones that change colors. I've caught... I think I caught like a four or five pounder on on this as a as a trailer on a jig um, last month for our Guggen video. But yes, you can see there it's kind of like a reddish color now. But then if you put it in water, like if the water's cold, it turns darker. So the colder the water, the darker the bait gets. And uh, and then if it's a little bit warmer water, I believe it gets like chartreuse. So again, kind of like active fish chase like something bright, vibrant like chartreuse. And then lethargic fish in cold water shade chase something dark. But that'd be a good jig trailer, chatterbait trailer, swim jig trailer, even just Texas rig plane. That'll work. Next, we've got the saw craw here, which is a uh, just a nice little craw, your basic your basic craw with some uh, flapping pinchers that you could put on the back of a jig or just Texas rig. I'll probably throw it on the back of the jig today. Um, I'll show you guys kind of what this thing looks like. Looks like this. It's kind of like a laminate color. It's got like the green pumpkin and then the uh, like the brownish brownish color and whatnot. So that's what we're gonna be rolling with today for a jig trailer. Now for the jig. Mystery Tackle Box actually did throw a jig in here. We've got this guy right here. This is the Catchco Flippin' Jig. It's a, uh, it looks like just like a nice, probably like three, three up, three eighths ounce in Texas craw color, so this will match that craw perfectly. Uh, so I'll probably be rigging this guy up. And to go along with the jig, we've got this. We've got the Big O's Brush Bands. If you guys don't know what this is, basically, 
if you guys hopefully could see that, you uh, you rig these little rubber bands on it, and it splits the Wii guard into two. And there's a lot of reasons why to do that. It, it's a lot to do with like physics and stuff like that. And the simplest way I can describe it is you just get better hookup ratios. That's a bit, I, I know all the dynamics behind it, but it would take too long to explain. You just catch more fish with these things. So I'll be rigging this guy up as well. And we've got some lizards, which is one of the best baits to throw around the spawn, which is hopefully right now, I'm hopefully gonna see some some fish on beds. And uh, and so we got a little watermelon red sea lizard, probably gonna be Texas rigging that guy. And we have the Catchco the Runt, which looks like this, kinda looks like a little wake bait, something that might go down a few inches to a few feet, I'm not sure. Uh, it's, just, it's slow sinking, so it'll actually go down go down a little bit further, but uh, just a little guy here, that's probably what I'll start with today. Something moving, moving bait, reaction bait, stuff like that. You got your pegs for your Texas rig for the craws and, and the, the lizards and everything else that came in here. And that's it folks. If you guys want your own mystery tackle box, make sure you use code Guggen. You get $10 off your very first box. I will leave the link down in the description below if you guys wanna check them out. You get awesome bait sent to your house every single month and uh, you don't pay a retail for them. So you get them at a discounted price, you get the best baits. Sometimes you even get baits that aren't even released yet. Check them out, links down below. Let's go fishing. Okay, oh, we're on a boat. Oh, there's a ton of water in this boat. Okay, all right. Okay, my feet are getting absolutely soaked. Got all my Mystery Tackle Box baits tied on. There's no motor on this boat. Just found that out. Well, I've got this sick paddle, so. This should be, this should be a fun day. As long as that wind doesn't kick up, we should be in business. Oh, it's like the good old days, just paddling around, doing big things with my life. All right, like I said, I always like starting off with a moving bait. We're gonna try the little runt. What's this thing look like in the water? Ooh, ooh, I like this. It's like a, it runs just kind of like a crankbait, but it's got a super erratic action. So if they're active, this thing, this little guy's gonna find him today. There's one, there's one, there's one. Yep. Oh gosh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, folks. Here we go on the chatterbait. Now we're talking, boys. Get in here, buddy. Yes. Look at that. There's like, a, I got a little live wheel down there for you. Hey, you just want to hang out there, you let me know. Look at this fat guy. Okay. Look, he choked the chatterbait. Absolutely choked it. That was the first cast with the chatterbait with that lizard on the trailer. As a trailer, I should say. Look at that. Not a, not a bad fish, folks. He absolutely annihilated it. See you, buddy. Oh, this is going to be a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. The sun's not even up. I uh, I just picked up the chatterbait because uh, there's a little bit too much grass here going on for the uh, that little runt. So what I did was I put the, uh, put the lizard on as a trailer, which I haven't really done before. But as you can tell, that looks freaking sick. It's got the little kickers right down here and uh, and then the, the curly tail. That'll that'll create some create some action. It's a pretty big profile, so I'm hoping it's going to catch me a big fish. But there we go. That was the first cast with the chatterbait. That's crazy. I'm literally just letting the wind just drift me right now at this point. There's just kind of letting me go. I'm hoping the wind doesn't pick up too much. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get back. But there's a whole bunch of trees. So my plan is to kind of cover water with the chatterbait. And then once I get to these trees, start flipping and pitching those lizards and jigs around for big old mama. Hopefully she's all staged up against these these stumps here looking to looking to lay some eggs. There's one, there's one. Up shallow, up shallow, up shallow. This might be a bigger fish. This might be a decent fish. That is a good fish. Hell yeah. Woo, here we go, baby. Up shallow. Oh my gosh, this is another good fish. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yes. There we go, baby. Now we're talking. Now we got them dialed, baby. Right on that chatterbait. Oh god, look at these fish. One of my favorite techniques. Look how fat that the guy is. He's got a nice little, nice little chunky belly on him. That is another good fish. See, you, buddy. 
on the chatterbait. That one, I don't know if you could tell how shallow that one was. I, uh, I actually cast it up on the bank a little bit too far and then ripped it out. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm casting it out there, right up on the bank, and then keeping my rod tip up like this and just kind of feathering it. And it's one of my favorite ways to catch spring bass. I know Parrot gave me so much crap in that Guggen cast about one of my favorite bed fishing baits is a chatterbait, but this is why. I mean, it's, I don't know for a fact if these fish are on beds, but that was probably less than 10 inches of water and they're spawning all over Texas. So I could only imagine that they're getting close. Plus it was a full moon, I think a full moon tomorrow, kind of looked like a full moon last night, but it was regardless, really close. So these fish are pushed up really close to uh to spawning and the chatter bay is freaking lighting them up right now i love it this is one of my all-time favorite ways to catch fish it is just so much fun feeling them just knock the hell out of this thing oh wind blown bank this has got to have the juice what did i say what did i say i literally just called that shot i just said it's got to have the juice it's a wind blown bank which the boat's gonna be blown into it real quick here. I have no way of stopping myself, but there's, oh, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. Come on now, Ricky, get in the boat. Yes, sir. That's the third one on the chatterbait, folks. Right there, they're just crunching it. Absolutely annihilating it this morning. Can't keep them off, folks. Boom, baby, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's a fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. How big is this guy? Oh, oh, he's decent, I think. He was, he was just running at me. I think he's actually decent. He's coming at me. How big is he? Oh gosh, that's a good one. Come on, get in the boat, baby. Woo, another one, another one. Here, I'll stick you in my little homemade live well down there, buddy. There we go. Oh, he just flopped right off. Look at that, on the chatterbait. I, I don't like being repetitive, folks, but I mean, when something's working, you don't change it up. Look at that guy. Hey, buddy. See you later. Well, I uh, I floated down this creek. So I, my truck is like a mile and two miles that way. I've literally just let the wind blow me across the lake. So getting back is going to suck. But I figured if I can run down here, catch a bunch of fish, paddle back, and then head back to Nebraska, that would, that would just be dandy. Because paddling around and fishing just does not work. So it's like you either got to fish, you got to paddle. So I'm just letting myself... All the way back in this little creek here there's a ton of trees so i will flip these on my way out but i'm just running down throwing this again the chatterbait with the uh the lizard that came in mr tackle box and i'm paralleling the point so there's a long point that goes out i'm paralleling it that seems to be where they're at they're not super shallow i mean i did catch one on shallow but this one's like i mean we're like a foot deep here so i've been throwing in like two and a half feet of water and you just wind in that's what i love about a chatterbait it's a not a do nothing bait but kind of i mean you can give it some pops every once in a while but uh for the most part chuck and wind and uh wait for that blade to stop and then that means you got a fish i'm gonna hopefully get into a mondo back here i'm convinced there's some big fish in this lake i mean there's great great water clarity great habitat some good vegetation it's got all the uh all the ingredients for big bass have not found any yet though There's one, there's one. Oh, he's got me wrapped, he's got me wrapped. He's got me wrapped. Oh, it's a decent one, it's a decent one. Come on, he's got, oh, I got him out, I got him out. Oh gosh, I just hit a tree. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's definitely the biggest one, biggest one so far. Come here, buddy. Yes, yes, <laughs> I'm the lizard. I told you guys, the lizard is the deal around the spawn. Texas rig lizard. Look at that. He's got the head of like a four or five pounder. I don't know how much he actually weighs. But look at that. Look at his, look how big his head is. He's got a giant head, kind of a skinny, not too super skinny, but I mean, that would be, that would probably be like a four, four pounder if he was actually fat, but he's probably around three and a half or so. Biggest one, baby, on the Texas rig up against the bushes here. As you can see, I floated way back in this creek like I was talking about. And, uh, Picked up the old T-Rig. All right, see you later, buddy. This is this is becoming an awesome day. This is something I did not expect at all. That was on the Lizard that I've been actually using as my Chatterbait trailer, believe it or not, and just had it Texas rig pegged on there, just a little little tungsten and a, and a worm hook, and pitched it right on top of the fish because the second it hit the water, 
he absolutely smoked it. I'm convinced there might be some more in here. Again, this wind is not making my life easy. I've been pretty much forced to just fish, fish wherever I can, whichever the way, the way the wind's blowing, but so far it's been blowing in my favor. So we're gonna see if we can catch a few more. There's one, there's one, dude, he knocks slack in it. He knocks slack in it. Yes, that's another good fish, another good fish. Come here, buddy, woo! All right, yeah, go down to my live well now. Hang out down there for a minute. He smoked it. There we go, God, look at him, I mean, you look, if you really think about how long this trailer is, and they're eating it all the way down there, I mean, that's that's a big meal. That's a big meal for a fish, but I mean, it's, it's really just, causing a good reaction strike with these guys. Not not a giant fish, but uh, I'll take it. See you later, buddy. I should start naming it. What, what, what's wrong with me? Why am I not naming those? That was Leo, okay? That was Leo. I haven't been naming my fish in a while. You guys need to put me back in check. Keep me uh, keep me up with that. But I'm just posted up here again. The wind actually died down a little bit, so that's awesome. But I'm just sitting here casting. There's a row of trees out there, and there's kind of like a creek arm that runs back there. So I'm casting up into kind of like the channel, you you could say, and then bringing it. So it's like the channel's down here. I'm bringing it up onto the flat to where I'm at now. It's a good staging area. Again, for these spawning fish, they're gonna they're gonna spawn right where kind of the boat is, but they're not gonna they're not gonna spawn until they spawn. If that made any sense. So they're gonna hang out right at that first little drop off. That's how I'm posted up right now. And you could do a lot of different things. I mean, I could grab that that lizard or the jig, and I could drag those things around, but. For, the, for me personally, I like covering water. So I'm basically just bombing this thing as far as I can, letting it sink down for a few seconds, and then slowly winding it in. And they're, they're crunching. I think that was my sixth fish so far, and it's only 8.30. That's like a fish every 10 minutes. That's, that's awesome. There's one, there's one. On the dam, first cast on the dam, I moved spots. Ooh, is this a big one? Is this a big one? The question is, is this a big one? It's decent, it's decent, folks. Get up here, buddy, woo! Yep, there's another chatterbait fish I just moved. As you can tell, I'm completely out of the wind right now. Look at that, he was barely even hooked. Look at that guy, that's not a bad one. Again, another, uh, another fish, see you later, Leroy. And uh, I was way down there last time you guys saw where I caught that, that last chatterbait fish. And uh, this is where the boat launch is. I'm kind of headed back right now. Again, I've got a nine hour drive home. It's my mom's birthday. So I wanna make sure I'm not late. But I saw these rocks, there's some rocks on the dam here. So I stopped for a second, made one cast and caught a fish. So <laughs> that's good. This is, a, this is gonna be one of my favorite ponds for sure. This is uh. I mean, they're not giant fish, but they're they're quality. There's a bunch of them. Pretty predictable fish. Every every spot that I've kind of gone to, I've kind of known known whether I'm gonna get a bite or not. But that's good. We're gonna see if we can catch one more before we call it a day. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I am leaving right now. I got my mystery tackle boxes. Got my gear. Walking back to my truck, and uh, I'm headed home. Headed back to Nebraska for a few days. Like I said, I think I'll be back in Texas early next week. So I'll be I'll be in. Nebraska for four, for three three four five days maybe I don't know if I'll do any filming there I know it's still pretty still pretty chill but I'll do my best but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode I actually had a ton of fun I love fishing new ponds finding it, finding new ponds and then exploring them uh, was not super stoked about the the John boat situation but hey it beats fishing off the bank so anytime you can get away from the bank is good I want to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video because without them. Nothing, nothing that you guys see would be possible. I mean, me going from Nebraska to Texas and everywhere around the country, you guys see, uh, it would not be possible without them. So huge thanks to those guys. Remember, if you guys want to try Mr. Tackle Box for yourself, $10 off your very first box. Use your code Guggen. I will leave the link down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, the old pond fishing video, the old chatterbait video, leave a like, drop a comment down below. I learned something new. Put a lizard on the back of a chatterbait, catch a lot of fish. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.